Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back, Paz, with a new meta list after this huge experimental card that we got just recently. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so... There's a lot of stuff to go over here. I'm going to try to keep this one still short. Uh, one of my viewers actually did put in the comments that they wanted something that was a little bit more uh, in depth. So I am in the works right now of a video that's going in specifically of what metas, like how metas work, why they come out and like what exactly they are. So I can explain in depth these metas a, a little bit more clear. And it's also something that I can start uploading more on the channel so that I can give you just the base. Like here it is. You can watch or look directly what the meta is in my opinion and then i can go further in depth into what is actually going on in the scene because when i say that i'm seeing things it's usually those are two minute long descriptions that don't really go anywhere uh that aren't really needed within this scope of this video but in a video where i'm actually explaining things and why things are good what ideas are bad what ideas are good i think it fits better in that kind of video and since there's interest for that why not do it but let's get right into this and let's actually look exactly at these patch notes and what really happened so ash her aim down sight damage is reduced from 80 to 75 so that i'm pretty sure this is so that she can't one shot with the damage boost from mercy which i think uh is a change that's needed for how long ash has been in the meta she's been for she's been in for quite some time and i think it's not really because of this exactly but it does kind of it's a niche thing that kind of um takes away her value uh ever so slightly to the point where she's a lot more niche of a character but her aim down sight's recovery time has has a faster recovery now like i i think that this makes ash just weak enough for echo to really reign supreme which i will go into but i have i have just I have a feeling that Echo will be good. I'm not sure if she's going to be the meta, though. It depends on the map. Hansa with his shot recovery from 0.3 to 0.25. I'm sure you guys have all seen clips of this. It is actually a lot faster, and it does make a little bit of a difference. The problem is, is that the idea of Hanzo needing space with the characters that I'm going to tell you guys I think is going to be meta, the composition that I think is going to be meta, I don't think Hanzo is going to shine. This Sigma changed from 1 second to 2.5 seconds. Now, that is a lot of time in Overwatch. A, a whole second it feels like a year. Like, a 1 second can do a whole... You can do a whole lot in Overwatch. So that's really huge. And what that's going to do is I think it's it's making the hybrid comp a ball Sigma. Sigma, Sigma can no longer be as strong of a switch to Brawl or a switch to Spam he needs to be more decisive on what exactly it is that he wants to do and also because of this cooldown being increased so much sombra has incredible outplay now um echo has incredible time to outplay like you have so much more time to work with here and it just isn't it isn't looking good for sigma to say the least and then lastly wrecking balls shield per target reduced from 100 to 75 i think this was needed and definitely is a step in the right direction. However, these changes don't kill these characters necessarily. Like these characters now aren't as strong of hybrid characters and don't do as many jobs, which I think is really what was needed because this hybrid meta, these characters were just doing too much. That was the problem with them. It wasn't that they're necessarily broken. It was that they were fundamentally broken in the sense they're doing too much when they really shouldn't. And that's what's giving them the value. It's not necessarily the numbers or anything like that of their damage or anything. It's mostly just them getting too many jobs done. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what I think is good and what is bad. So we're going to start out with the tanks here. <sighs> All right. So we're moving from my from this is my thought process before we go into this. With these changes, we are moving away from this hybrid comp because now these characters cannot, they, their abilities don't allow them to excel at two different things. Sigma either has to play very aggressive with his shield or he has to play for a slow spam type of play style. And that's just not going to work anymore. He needs both of those to 
to work in the current meta and the state of the game that it is. And this is a good thing. I still think that Sigma's a good character. I, I still think that maybe you could pull off this ball Sig comp. I think it's just a lot weaker. And I did say last week how that ball Winston comp is coming out. That six man dive, an aggressive dive comp. It's, it's creeping in there because it's very good against this hybrid comp because it can get into the back line and get out very efficiently if played correctly. I think with these changes, I may be wrong. I've been wrong in the past with the Ryan thing. I think with these changes, Monkey, the Monkey, is going to be stronger because now this very hard aggressive dive works very well into how Sig in that, that hybrid comp can't do too much. Once he, he, once he commits, he's done. And with dive, once that you can get that commit to happen, once dive, which is the whole point of dive, is to get out cooldowns and just play slow, try to force things, and then when you have your opportunity, you blow the crap out of a character. Now that Sig has such a long cooldown, it really hinders his performance in, in these big team fights against dive. So what I'm thinking here, guys, dive on top, Brawl, eh, to be honest, this, these hybrid comps, who knows, maybe they'll still be good if you can play it right. I think it's a lot harder to pull off now. It's kind of like GOATS against 4 DPS is kind of the, the interaction I'm thinking right here. So, now that I said that, let's get into it. I might be wrong. You, I might be preaching to a choir that wants to hear this, but it is not the right thing. I think Winston is the new tank to pair with ball. I think that six man dive is back. And if you don't know what six man dive is, I'm most likely going to explain it in the future. I think that ball monk or ball monkey is, is just going to now surge where it was going to. If blizzard gave more time, I think this comp is fantastic and is getting slept on. And I will tell you guys why, when we actually get into the DPS, so yes, Ball and Monkey. Dive, I think, is very strong against this hybrid comp. After that, who knows? But this is just my initial thought process at the moment. So if you guys do recall, the six-man dive comp is originally actually the Monkey uh, Diva. So I this is the one part of the video where I am a little bit not like 100% sure here. I don't think that the 75 shield, or the 100 to a 75 shield, uh, shield deduction in a six man dive mirror is gonna do a whole lot. I just don't. I still think Ball is extremely strong, but the thing is, is that Diva could also be better than Ball in this scenario because six man dive is really strong. Like it, it is a really strong comp right now with the, with the changes that we've been seeing. And the original comp was actually Ball, or not Ball Diva. Well, actually, it could be. But it was usually just Monkey Diva. These characters, I think, are very strong, and something's gonna. The meta is most likely gonna shift to something with these characters. At least I hope so. Moving forward, I think Sigma goes B tier. He's not a bad character. Fundamentally, like he is still a very good character. He does a lot of damage. He can he can do a lot with his kit. I just think now, with the DPS that are good and the tanks that are gonna allow that those DPS to do the work they need to. I don't think Sigma does super well in this meta. I still think the hybrid comp can be run, not going to be as strong. That being said, we actually might move him down after I see some of these other tanks. So actually, let's put all these tanks in B tier just so I can see them all and I can kind of get a better idea. Because there's a possibility actually that Zarya and a monkey or like a monkey Zarya comes back too. But I really like this monkey ball comp because it, it it kills what's good now. But what happens after that is still a mystery. But that my, my main prediction is that this comp is going to be back. And this is what people are going to default to until the next big thing is found. Because that's usually how these meta shifts work. So actually with me saying that, I think Zarya is actually pretty good. And also Hog in more of like just a weird pick sense. Hog, if, if you want to run a Mimi stuff, I think Mimi Hog strats are better than spam right now. Or even Brawl. I think I think Mimi Hog strats are going to get more value if that team is good with it. 
But that's why I'm, that's probably my only reason why I'm going to put Hog B tier. I think I put Sig C tier. Um, like just with a reset because spam just doesn't seem as strong to me. Hmm. And then I'm going to... Hmm. But is Brawl better than spam right now? I feel like it's it's obsolete to even look at it as such. I think spam's better than Brawl only because we did see the change to Hanzo. That that might actually make a difference. But currently, that's really not what we should be looking at considering the DPS that we that are good right now. So now that I'm saying, oh, I'll tell you guys the DPS, let's get into the DPS because that's what we really want to know. That's the meat and potatoes here. So, characters that were strong that didn't get nerfed. Echo. Really big Echo. I, I can't strain this enough. Echo is probably going to get nerfed in the next patch very shortly. There's no way she stays in the state that she is if Sig's getting nerfed. Uh, si uh, Tracer, still very good. McCree, still very good. Ash isn't bad either. Just not as, not as uh, strong as she was before, which is going to make Echo even stronger. And then the sleeper pick, Sombra. Sombra is really good right now. With Sigma out, Sombra has a lot more time to get stuff done. So, what do I think is good? I think Tracer is still S tier. She works great in these dive comps. That's a pretty much a no-brainer here. Echo and Sombra. I think I think it's gonna go back to where we were before. Where it was a dive comp with different variations of the Echo Tracer, uh, six man dive with Tracer Sombra. I still think that this comp, it was work like it was working against hybrid. This was what it was going to, this Sombra Tracer type of comp. This was what it was alluding to. Now it's just a fact of is it really meta? I think it's really strong. I don't see a comp right now that, that can beat this six-man dive. Excuse me. Or just dive, just any variation of dive when Echo is this strong. Again, it's map dependent, but this is really strong right now. Like, very, 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 very strong. With that said, with that said, with that said, Ash, I think, is still a good character. I just don't think she's as strong as these other DPS. Um, will she do well with these tank combos? Eh, that's kind of what I want to wait to decide. I think that the, that, that Ash didn't just get nerfed because of her nerf. I think she also got nerfed because of Sig's nerf. I think, I think that there's a lot going on with that Sig nerf that's actually going to change a lot. So, let's just go through the lineup here. Bastion. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Bastion made. But Bastion just isn't good in, in team play. Unless you're a god tier Bastion like Bastion main. You know, I don't think I really need to, to uh, go in depth about that one. Uh, Doomfist. I don't think Doomfist's in the bad spot. I don't think he's in a great spot. Because why play Doomfist when you can play Echo? She, she does a lot of damage. And now that there's nothing to block off her in the sky. Or even shoot her out of the sky. She just does I, I I don't know. I think there's a lot going on there that kind of makes her very strong and have a really good presence here on the field. Um, Genji, I put in C tier only because Cyber Dive on Temple of Anubis is still something that you can run. That that Genji Sombra Nano Blade, uh, it's still something you can run on 2CP. It's niche, but he gets playtime, so I'm gonna put it at C because it's not like don't play these characters. It's more like, uh, meh, you know, it's not the best choice. Hanzo's in a weird spot because he did get those buffs. Maybe, maybe he's the new Ash. Like maybe he storm arrows echoes out of the sky. I don't think so. I think that I actually might move him C tier because I just feel like he works in spam and spam's really nice to play with like you can still play spam with sig i just don't see it i don't see it when when these characters are as strong as they are right now this this dive composition is just very very present um junk rat i'm gonna put d tier again junk doesn't like these spam type dps characters don't do well in 
in a dive environment in, in, in that kind of team play. Uh, this, this meta is going to be very much, does your character have mobility? Great. Then you can play it. Uh, if not, good luck. That's kind of what I'm looking at here. Kree, I think is still like strong, but the thing is, is that Sig is going down, but Kree as a character, you can still maybe get away with it. Uh, you, if you're, if you still want to be running that Sig ball hybrid comp, that's why I'm going to put Kree a little bit above the Hanzo and stuff, just because I think he, he can get value if you really want to run it against the dive, but it's probably not the best pick. It's just kind of a, it's an average pick. It's okay. Uh, May, I'm going to put top of, hmm, just so many characters here that I just don't like in this meta. I just don't think they're going to get play time. Like I think soldier in a dive that can work. I think that Reaper, maybe if that Reaper Brawl comp comes back, maybe that works. But I'm thinking Soldier, sure. Farah beats here. Like, Farah does well in dive comps in the seasons past. If Echo doesn't do start doing as well, Farah starts going up. Uh, but that, like, a lot of these characters just... They're not wowing me. They're not wowing me right now. Because I'm, I'm thinking that this dive composition... Is just not gonna allow some characters to get value like this this like honestly from from like B and below this is just kind of a ladder list because you're not gonna see anything but this comp in team play I don't think unless something miraculous happens I don't think so I don't I really don't um Widow, I think, I think Widow actually gets more value here because she's kind of like the new thing that's going to have to take out this Echo on one hit. I just don't see why you'd run a Widow. I mean, Widow on some maps will work. It won't work on others. Widow's just still an inherently strong character. I didn't explain Soldier, but Soldier can run up, run around. And there are some dive comps that are really good. And I'm just predicting that we're kind of shifting towards more of a dive style meta because it has been a while as well. But that, I mean, time doesn't really affect a meta list at all either uh may may is very slow and she needs she needs rotational ability and like survivability to really get her max value and i just don't think those comps are good right now like fast characters that can get value quick with these tanks are really what's going to shine uh Symmetra is still going to find value because you're going to have to teleport out of spawn it's it's always going to be a thing she's always not going to be completely don't pick ever but, uh, why did I put Genji? Oh, cause he's just not good with cyber dive or in other, any other things other than cyber dive. But since dive is moving, like he's just a little bit better because the way I'm putting this list is kind of just a dive, but Genji's just not good. I'm, I'm trying to justify myself putting Genji higher, but I just don't see it. I, I, he's just not, he needs something. He needs something. Um, that being said, though, Torb, I'm going to actually put up in B tier because, hey, Hogs in B tier. If you want to run those wacky comps like Avoided, Torb does well against Dive. It's another target that needs to, that pulls away their attention. Uh, and this, with Reaper, we could go to a weird monkey, like, brawl meta again with double bubble, but I just don't, I don't see it very likely that that's happening when echo exists personally personally that's my opinion but because there's a possibility i'm gonna put reaper and beats here uh with uh doomfist because like who knows maybe he comes back maybe he doesn't but what the way that i'm forming this list it's actually looking pretty good right now so what do i think support wise is good uh well i can tell you this much i don't think bap is I just I don't I don't think BAP does well in these metas to the point where I'm gonna put him D tier because BAP just isn't strong with dive. Now, as for what supports are good, I think Lucio S tier is really strong. Moira going with that because it is a six-man dive kind of kind of feel to it. It really depends on what DPS you want to play. Like if you're gonna be playing this this Echo Tracer, you're gonna want the Zen in the brig. Because Echo, like, you don't need as much healing for that comp. You almost, like, you almost might be running Zen. I, I almost want to say, actually, here, that you're probably going to be running Zen Brig with both of these comps. 
with this six man dive uh, strategy because supports now have gotten so used to playing this more risk, high risk, high reward comp. And since no nerfs have happened to this, I almost want to say Zen Break is going to be better than the Moira Lucio here, but Moira Lucio is still very strong. Yeah. I'm going to have to go into why I say that. But it, it really is dependent on, do you want a hard dive with the Sombra, or do you want to play the Tracer uh, Echo? And I'm kind of thinking, Tracer Echo is really go is going to be really strong, because Echo's just, she doesn't have a whole lot against her. The Ash was a big part of her not being able to be as aggressive. Sure, you could pull out a Soldier, but at what cost, you know? Why not just mirror the Echo at this point? And last but not least, I think Mercy is one of those characters that you can pull out a lot more in in these metas. Maybe maybe Mercy Zen can come back, uh, but yeah, I don't I don't see Ana coming back anytime soon for a C tier. Now, uh, yeah, I'm sorry guys that this was a little bit of a longer video. I did want to just clarify my my content plans in the coming weeks. Um, so Tuesdays, I'm gonna try to put out another meta video that's more intense that just talks about metas in general um and thursday i'm still gonna be rolling out those guides every thursday i think next week we're doing off tank week after that main support and then hit scan last is gonna be flex dps um and for weekends i'm gonna try to start making some stream highlight videos every now and then just because i kind of want to start doing that kind of content but yeah let me know guys if this was helpful if you agree if you disagree because this is all up in the air this is experimental but this is what i've been seeing a lot if you did not know already and you're new to the channel i do stream every monday wednesday and friday over at, on twitch at 4 p.m that might change though with my college schedule coming in in the next few weeks but yeah guys if you did like the content please do like subscribe leave a comment and until next time i gotta peace out and pass out i'll see you in the next one